Good morning everyone. It is the second video for your chapter 2 that is nutrition in animal. Today we will be studying about the human digestive system, digestion in the mouth and digestion in the stomach. The first topic that we will be coming across is the human digestive system. When we take food through the mouth, digest and utilizes the unused part of the food are defecated. Have you ever wondered what happens to the food inside the body? The food passes through a continuous canal which begins at the mouth and ends at the anus. The canal can be divided into various compartments. First, mouth or buccal cavity. Second, food pipe or esophagus. Third, stomach. Fourth, small intestine. Fifth, large intestine ending in rectum and six is anus. These parts together forms the alimentary canal. The food components gradually get digested as food travels through the various compartments. The inner wall of the stomach and the small intestine and the various glands such as salivary gland, the liver and the pancreas secrete digestive juices. The digestive juices convert complex substance of a food into simpler ones. The digestive tract and the associated glands together constitute the digestive system. Now let us know what happens to the food in different parts of the digestive tract. So first is digestion in the mouth. Food is taken into the body through the mouth. The process of taking food into the body is called ingestion. As we ingest food, the salivary glands present in the mouth starts its digestion. The teeth present in the mouth cut the food into small pieces by chewing and grinding it. Salivary gland secretes a watery liquid called saliva. This saliva contains digestive enzymes which helps in partial digestion of food. The tongue helps in mixing saliva with food. This partially digested food is swallowed by the tongue and passed down to esophagus or food pipe. Now let us learn about the function of teeth. The food is cut by the teeth inside the mouth. Teeth mechanically break the food into small pieces. These teeth vary in appearance. Each tooth is rooted in a separate socket in the gums. There are four types of teeth. First is Incisor, second is canine, then premolar, and at the last is molar. Now let us learn about the function of the teeth. First, incisor. These are four shishel shaped incisor at the center of each jaw for biting and cutting the apple. Second is canine. These are two large pointed teeth just behind incisor in each jaw for piercing and tearing the food. Then third is premolar. These are four teeth, two on each side. Large premolars with the flat surface behind the canine in each jaw for grinding and chewing. Then the last is molar. In an adult, there are six, three on each side large molars with the flat surface behind the premolars in each jaw for, for grinding. Now let us learn about milk teeth and permanent teeth. In human being, teeth grow twice. The sets of teeth that grow during infancy are called milk teeth. These are also called temporary teeth. These teeth get loosened and falls off at the age of 6 to 8 years. When milk teeth fall off, a new set of teeth grow in their places. This second set of teeth is called permanent teeth because they remain till the old age. But if these teeth fall down, no new teeth arise on its place. Now let us learn about the function of tongue. It is a muscular organ attached at the back to the floor of the mouth. It is free from the front and can help in mixing saliva with the food, swallowing the food, take talking or speaking and tasting with the help of taste, taste bud for sweet, salt, sour and bitter food. Salivary gland secretes saliva which breaks down starch into sugar. Now let us learn the function 
sorry digestion in the stomach as we know food pipe or esophagus is a tube like structure which connects the mouth to the stomach and runs along neck and chest it carries slightly digested food from the mouth to the stomach food is pushed downwards by a wave like movement of the wall of food pipe as a result of alternate contraction and relaxation and this movement is called peristalsis the chewed food that enters the esophagus from mouth and is passed down to stomach is called bolus sometimes food is not accepted by our stomach and is vomited out because the food moves in the opposite direction that is from the stomach to mouth by antiperistaltic movement in esophagus our windpipe that carries air from nostril to our lungs and food pipe that run adjacent to each other air and food share a common passage in the throat when we swallow food a flap like valve closes the passage of the windpipe and guides the food into the food pipe but if we laugh or talk while eating the windpipe remains open and food particle enters into the windpipe and we experience hiccups cough or choking characteristics like gulping sound repeatedly and coughing clears the blockage of windpipe now stomach stomach was first discovered by an american doctor william vermont in 1822 accidentally in the man named alex st martin it is a thin wall bag like a structure which is present on the left side of the abdomen it is its shape is like flattened j and it is the widest part of the alimentary canal the semi digested food from the esophagus enters into the stomach where further digestion take place the churning of food into his stomach take place for 3 hours the food is broken down into smaller pieces and form semi solid paste the inner lining of the stomach secretes mucus hydrochloric acid and digestive enzymes or juices the function of mucus is to protect the lining of a stomach from the action of hydrochloric acid the secretion of hydrochloric acid make the medium acidic inside the stomach it kills the harmful bacteria present in the food and also helps in digestion of protein in the stomach the partially digested food which forms from from which moves from stomach to the small intestine is called chyme that's all for today we will be covering rest of the topic in the next video thank you